we are discussing ways of better water management for the city of Mumbai at this conference uh, that's been organized by Mumbai First. And we have uh, Professor uh, Augustina Kiavola, who's come in all the way from Rome, and she's uh, teaching at the University of Rome. Right, Professor? Yeah. Yes. All right, I better not make any mistakes now. No, no, be no, you're right. You're <laughs> right. Actually, we have two universities in Rome. The oldest one is La Sapienza, and uh, unfortunately, I teach at the University of Rome La Sapienza. All right. So you you specialize and your expertise is in water management. Yes, actually, I'm a hydraulic engineer, mm -hmm. and uh, I did my PhD on uh, wastewater treatment, mm -hmm. and then uh, I became assistant professor in 2001 mm -hmm. in uh, environmental engineering with a specialization in water and wastewater mm -hmm. treatment. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's seen that you know countries around uh, South Asia, Southeast Asia, water management and wastewater treatment tend to become issues, and that's that's the issue with Mumbai as well. What are the key things that a mega city like Mumbai must keep in mind when it comes to water management? Actually, uh, I, don't, I, I got some notice about uh, the state of water management in Asia, in particular in India or in Mumbai. And I heard that here um, the, the basic uh, infrastructure are still lacking in many cities, such as in Mumbai, mm -hmm. like a sewage collection or the proper wastewater treatment mm -hmm. and drinking water supply as well. So I believe that uh, these are uh, really important issues to be addressed uh, in the view of a better city, better mm -hmm. living space, mm -hmm. and what we now call a green city. Sure, so there sure. are basic uh, services uh, which must be provided to everyone. Sure, sure. But, but actually, mm -hmm. even uh, in Italy, we have some area where there are uh, period, uh, periods of uh, uh, water lacking. So mm -hmm. it's not only mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. mega cities, or in mm -hmm. some cases, the due mainly to leakage in the okay. infrastructure. So what would be an optimal way of, let's say, sewage management for such a big city like Mumbai? Because a lot of the debris and the sewage does end up going into the bay, which is, which is not healthy at all. Yeah, you have a, a beautiful bay and I know that uh, you probably don't use uh, the water like uh, we do, like mm. for beach, as a beach. No, we cannot uh, even think of going and, you know, yeah. enjoying a day at the beach because it's just not hygienic enough. Yes, but uh, it's, uh, it's really bad. I mean, uh, it's an um, important source for everything, and uh, so you should uh, be able to exploit it. Uh, so to do this, to allow this, uh, you should collect all the wastewater produced by any facilities, like uh, not only domestic facilities, but uh, industrial, commercial, any kind of wastewater should be probably catched and uh, treated. Mm -hmm. And so the effluent, uh, should be safely released uh, into the bay or uh, uh, preferably now should be reused, uh, mm -hmm. reused uh, within the, the, the same facilities uh, in the buildings or in the industrial uh, processes uh, in order to reduce uh, uh, the primary sources mm -hmm. consumption. Mm -hmm. Sure. What are the costs involved? What are we talking about? Because one is political will and the officials have to come together with a plan. The second is of course the, the cost management of a green uh, you know, water management system. Uh, uh, there is still a debate because uh, even in Italy uh, we have a, a big debate about uh, the cost of water since water is considered as a, a public uh, um, good. Mm -hmm. So people uh, believe, many people believe that they should receive a good service without paying or uh, paying just a little bit. But this is not really correct because uh, there we, we must say, we must think about uh, an industry of uh, water. So to provide a good and safe service, uh, we have to pay actually. It's true that we should pay uh, according to the level of the service we re receive. But uh, so the Political uh, politics need uh, have to the duty to provide a good service, mm -hmm. but we have to pay for this service. So, so you're saying right. that in let's say cities in Italy, it's uh, not only the civic body which pays for water recycling, water management, but citizens also have to chip in additional. Actually, we we pay with taxes. With, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We pay with taxes, mm -hmm. and uh, so many people complain that they pay too much, mm -hmm. or they pay too much. Uh, um, as compared to the level of service they receive. This is true. So the service should be high enough and safe, uh, but uh, at the same time we have mm -hmm. to pay. We should, we should believe that uh, even if the, mm -hmm. the water is a public good, mm -hmm. uh, the management 
should be um, carried out in a, um, in a financially sustainable way. Right. Otherwise, uh, investment uh, and, uh, like say, let's say, op uh, renovation of infrastructure or uh, increase uh, of uh, connection or catchment service uh, cannot be afforded by the mm -hmm. government or by the, by the private mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. companies who manage this, the, the system. So, okay, okay, all but right. But I believe that uh, uh, in some cases the investment uh, to provide uh, a modern service uh, um, could be really high, particularly when you start uh, from zero, basically. Right, 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 right. So finally, uh, which are the cities perhaps in Asia uh, or elsewhere in the world, uh, cities slightly more comparable to Mumbai, where Mumbai could learn and perhaps you know, you know, uh, take a leaf out of the city's books, where they've managed to uh, channelize water in the right way, despite high population density, despite uh, the issues. Oh, I, I can There is no city in Europe. Mm -hmm. I, I know very well Europe, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I believe that here there are about uh, 18 million of people, yes, something like yes, that. Yes, 20 plus in the Yes, maybe area. more. Yeah. And so uh, it's a huge amount of people, and uh, it's uh, even uh, difficult for me to believe uh, uh, the service needed by such uh, a huge amount of people. But uh, probably the best uh, comparison. Uh, mm, should be done uh, with mega city like uh, Istanbul, mm. or uh, also be, uh, due to the climatic conditions. Uh, so here the climatic conditions are quite different from uh, Italy or from uh, uh, in general, more in general Europe. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have a uh, uh, monsoon uh, period uh, mm -hmm. which is concentrated, which uh, during which uh, you have uh, high, very high flow, um, rainwater, Rainfall, yes. and then uh, you have drought period uh, mm -hmm. after. So. And even India, it's, so, it's a long territory, no? Mm -hmm, so absolutely. how can we say, uh, assess a solution for Mumbai, which is also suitable for uh, the north? Sure, sure. I so believe, I mean, uh, I'm yeah. ignorant about, uh, I confess that I don't know a lot about India. This is my first time here, so I should learn more. But uh, I believe just looking at the map. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's a wide, wide differences, absolutely. So the solution has to be city specific, yeah. right? All right, thank you so much for talking to us. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh.